What up guys, I feel pretty good. Cause last week, I don't know what happened. I was supposed to hit an RP7 on squat and I hit 410 and that was an RP9. So I'm like, oh no, is the program not working? What the hell is going on? Cause just a few weeks before that, I hit 425 for five and that felt good. And so today I was kind of scared and I've been training in my garage, but I'm like, this is the perfect environment. I actually feel recovered. And I hit 435 at like an RPE seven and a half. So I'm like, cool, back on track. So I feel really, really good. Yeah, so for six months of this year, I've been only focusing on my powerlifting meet. And there's pretty much two factors. One is building strength, and the other one is losing weight and getting lean. And when there's only two factors in my training, it's really easy to troubleshoot why my training is going good or going bad. Whereas before, if I'm running and doing kickboxing and doing jujitsu, I don't know where I'm getting fatigued from. And you know, you only have so much mental bandwidth and almost and only so much energy. And when it gets dispersed like that, sometimes I'm giving um, like the last part of myself to strength training. So of course my strength isn't gonna increase that much. But uh, right now I'm only focused on powerlifting. So the last time um, it was easy to troubleshoot. I'm like, oh, it's cause I smashed the salt bike before up my heavy squat day. Don't do that anymore. And today I felt great. Right now I feel really fulfilled with powerlifting because when I look at my goals, I look at it in multiple layers. I have like a macro goal and then I have like micro goals. In terms of macro goal, I do want to be the best all around athlete I can be, which is strength, endurance, aesthetics, and also a sport that I really like. So jujitsu or like kickboxing. But when you're trying to chase all five at the same time, they're all gonna pull in completely different directions. So I've never really just buckled down and focused on one thing. And this year, all I've been doing is just focusing on strength, correcting my technique, and I'm very, very fulfilled because I feel like I'm really close to getting into the lifetime goal that I want. And once I hit that, then I can check off that box and then move on to the next thing. So I got some pretty big goals this meet. Um, I actually have two. One big one is squatting 500. That's what I've been chasing for the last seven, eight years. The second thing is totaling elite. I've always wanted to become an elite power lifter. And I'm like right there. Whereas like I was, you know, I have, I have very realistic conversations with my coach. I think I need like a 1480 to get elite at 181. I'm like, what do you think I'm gonna total at this meet? And he thinks somewhere between 1400 and 1450. Anything over 1400 at 181 is gonna be a huge PR. So I'm happy about that, but um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hit what I really want to do. So because that is my goal, if I don't get it this meet, I'm gonna continue to pursue it. I'm not gonna let off the gas. I'm gonna keep going, I'll probably do another meet. And that's me realistically speaking, because you know, when it comes to strength, it's not something that you could just pull something crazy out of your ass the day of. You know, it's not like fighting where you could just use heart or athleticism or some crazy creative move. It's pretty much however you've been training in the gym the last four to six months is what's gonna translate to the platform. I've been extremely diligent, but sometimes if the strength isn't there, you just have to be patient and keep pushing forward. What up guys, thank you guys for watching that video and also thank you for the overwhelming support of the Ethos collection. We had a great time making those clothes and we still have a few pieces left, so go to barbellbrigade.com. This tank top is from that collection and I know you guys have been asking for new flavors. We had the mango guava pre-workout, just restock that, it is bomb. It's one of my favorite flavors, and I will be doing the meet in about five to six weeks. So if you're in the LA area, stop by Bottle Brigade and we're gonna have a good time. See you guys there, peace.